In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an online banner using Placeit. So we start off by going to Placeit.net and we go to the top left hand side of the menu bar under Design Templates and we select Online Banner Maker. Now Placeit has a ton of different templates that you can use with different designs depending on what you want to use your banner ads for. But today we're going to use the second one on the left here to make our banner ad. And we have all our different text options on the left hand side and all our different color and and button and background options on the right hand side. So let's start with the, with the text first. So each one of these lines corresponds to a line of text on the actual ad. And as we edit each one of these or any of the options, we're going to see this, those changes uh, automatically made on the ad. So we can see a live preview, which is really cool. So let's see. Let's make one for, let's see here, a breakfast special. Right. And as I click on this uh, line of text, I get these little buttons that allow me to change the size of that line. So right now it's on medium. Let's see if we click on large. You see how it just makes it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to leave it on medium. And below each one of these lines of text, we have this button that allows us to change the actual font of that line. So I click on it and I see all these different options that we have. So let's see. Let's just try something a little different here and see what that looks like. That looks pretty good too. So you just pick and play with these until you find one that you like. Next to the font button, we have the font color button. So if we click on that, we see all these different options that we have uh, to change the font color. So right now I changed it to a nice blue. Um, but these are not all the options that are available. If we want to see uh, even more colors, we just click on more. And we can see all these different options that we have. We just use this little this little slider and this little dot to move them around and be really precise with the color that we want. We can also input the hex code for the color if we happen to know that or if our company or our brand uses a specific color and we know the hex code, we can just put that here and click on choose. All right, I'm going to just leave it at white. All right, so let's add uh, some more text here. Let's change this for our breakfast special ad. Uh, let's say something like Ooh, 30%, not $30, 30% off uh, on all orders before 1 p.m. All right, and you can actually move this around a little bit. So let's say you want 30% off to be by itself on one line. You just type enter right here, and then it just moves everything. So basically, it just replicates what you have here on the design. So you don't need to, to move anything around. You just type it in. All right, I think I'll change the font here. Let's see. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'll leave the color as it is. I'm going to change the text on the button. Right now it says learn more. I'm going to say, I'm going to have it say order now. Makes a lot more sense. All right. And here we have a, an effect. Uh, option button that allows us to actually add some some shading and some gradients if we want to do that to the button uh, but I think I'll leave it as uh, as it is without any, any effects in this case now we move on to the right hand side where we have our button options we have the button color we can change that and we also can change the shape of the button and the design so we can just maybe we want uh, a nice round button instead of a square one I think that looks a little better and we can also change the background color and add a pattern or an image. So right now it's blue and it's got this uh, sort of like uh, like twigs or like little little sticks uh, with leaves on them. Uh, but we can leave it as it is. We can change it. I actually have an image that I want to use. So we can do that by clicking on custom image. It's going to open up a little window and let you select an image that you have on your computer. And I have it on my desktop. I'll just use that. It's going to upload it. It's going to give you some options here. So because of the dimensions of the image, there's all this space here at the top and the bottom. We can fix that by using this little slider here. We can make the image bigger or smaller just so it fills up uh, the entire uh, an entire banner ad. And we can also click on it and move it around if we want to reposition it. I think that looks fine. And once you're done, you just click on Crop. All right, so one other thing is even if we have a background image, we can also change the color. So right now it's got this sort of a blue tint to it because that's what I have for background color. 
I can get rid of it by clicking on background color and going to this little checkered option here. And what that does is it completely removes any other colors other than the, the, the ones on the image. So what's this useful for? Well, if we want to, we can choose a dark color like this black here. And it's going to just darken our color so the text really pops and you can actually read it. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to change the button color from orange to a nice red here, a dark red. And I'm also going to change the the, the color of the, the text on order now because I can't really read it as it is. And so that looks much better. You can also just make everything a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller by using these two buttons here on the bottom corner. So let's make everything just a little bit bigger. So that's pretty good. You can also change the dimensions of the entire design uh, on the fly by going up here to this little bar. So right now this is, these are the default dimensions. It's 1080 by 1080 pixels, but perhaps you need it for something else. So you just click on it and it gives you all these default sizes that we have. So we have for the Google Display Network all the sizes that you might need. If you need it for a Facebook ad or an Instagram post, you just click on that. And, it's, and if it needs to, to really change the, the dimensions, it's also going to give you this option to just reposition your image so you don't have any white spaces or anything weird happening. All right, so now it's perfectly made for a Facebook ad, and that means it's uh, 1,200 by 628 pixels, which is exactly what we need. And once you're satisfied, and you're sure you're not going to make any more changes, you simply click on Download, and then you purchase your image, and that's how you make a banner ad using Placehood.